Just days after IMPD releases edited body camera video of a deadly officer involved shooting, the community got the chance to voice their concerns tonight at a pair of town halls. People got to hear directly from police and ask questions about trust, accountability, and changes they would like to see. As we've reported, 49 year old Gary Dwayne Harrell was shot and killed August 3rd during a traffic stop on the northeast side. He was running away from an officer while holding a gun when he was shot. Our Amber Grigley was at the meeting on the northwest side. She tells us more about the concerns from the community. Stop it, stop it. A difficult topic still hard for many to put into words. There's no need for him to be in the ground. He could have, they let him go and come back later. They knew who he was. That's got to stop. There's no justification for shooting a person, anyone in the back or shooting into the car. That was one of the policies that you said was going to be initiated. Monday evening, dozens filled the Global Welcome Center on the northwest side for a community town hall. I do want to be respectful of the criminal process as it moves forward. The Northwest Community Resource District Council hosted the town hall, creating a space where IMPD and the community could come together and have a healthy conversation about policies and procedures. Our charge tonight is to just provide you basic understanding of what exists what the processes look like, how they work, not a good or bad, but this is what exists. And then when you understand as a community what does exist, then you can be very pinpointed and strategic on what things need to be enhanced and changed. We all keep saying, we need to trust the process, look at the process, here's our process. And I'm not really sure what, you haven't given us a reason why we should trust the process. And that's the reason for this forum. You know, we don't, we don't pretend to know everything. Um, you know, it's important to get the community's input in these type of situations because they are very tragic. You know what, it's sad that this is the only time that we have town halls. Wayne Moore, president of the Baptist Members Alliance, says the lack of trust and transparency went away a long time ago. Rebuilding that will be a task. They've done a great job um, in, um, talking about procedures, but there are no results to any of the procedures. They've done a great job talking about all of the boards that they've created, but there are no results to those boards. And so um, the city of Indianapolis is tied down with law enforcement bureaucracy uh, to protect uh, their insufficient way of policing and administration right at this particular point. In Indianapolis, I'm Amber Grigley, WRTV. As we mentioned, another town hall took place on the east side. Marion County Prosecutor Ryan Mears attended this one, and we asked him why he thinks these types of meetings are necessary. The best way to address that lack of trust is to have very direct conversations about what's going on. Try to be as transparent as possible, but also be willing to acknowledge the criminal justice system hasn't always got it right. And the criminal justice system isn't perfect. And it's important for people to recognize that we're going to try to work on those areas and improve in area, on those uh, concerns that people have so that people will hopefully see that the criminal justice system can be a fair place uh, in a place where you can resolve disputes. The Community Resource District Council hosts meetings every last Monday of the month at 6 p.m. via Zoom. To learn more, just head to WRTV.com.